Welcome to the session. Greeting of the day. In previous classes, we have seen about the classifications of welding, and in that classification, we have divided into pressurized welding process, non pressurized welding process, such as the fusion welding methods. And there, we have divided our welding process based upon heat, based upon base materials and filler materials. Similarly, we have concluded in the sessions of nearly about 15 welding processes are there. Now, we will move over to the types of joint types. Types of joints available. What are the types of joints available? So, first we want to prepare the members, the two workpieces to make a joint. Then we are going to do weld there. So, types of joint, types of weld. Okay. So, you see, here I have done, first I have taken two work pieces and then I am going to weld in this zone. I am going to weld in this zone, this we name it as a edge welding process. So, two work pieces I have taken and kept it together. Where I am going to weld this gap, I am going to weld the edge, edge welding process. And then the second one you see, open and close the corner joints. So, this joint I, I want to weld, this is open, this is open. Here I want to weld, this region I want to weld. This region I would like to weld. So, this is open corner. By the joint configuration itself, we can understand this is open corner. So, here I, where I want to weld, I want to weld here in this zone. This is closed corner. Here I want to weld. Okay, the name says everything you can be able to understand easily. Here, what the workplace is kept one is and two are in the overlapped position. Here, where is the weld will be? Here, the weld will be here in these zones and in these zones will be there. So, likewise, I can able to weld. This is named as a fillet weld, the lap joint. The joint is lap joint, but weld is fillet weld. Here I can able to write lap joint, right? but the weld is fillet weld. Okay, so this is also fillet weld. This is also fillet weld. When the gap is there, if it is filled, that it will be butt joint, two nearer together. But here, next joint configuration as a T. These are the various type of configurations available. That the most type of configuration will be in this formats. Therefore, we are planning like this to weld. So it may be like in this format like a T joint. So what? How where we can weld? I can able to weld here. I can able to weld here. T joint. So fillet weld. So similarly, here also I can able to weld in these zones. Okay, fillet weld. This is a T joint. Joint, joint configuration is specimen number one, specimen number two are connected in the form of a T joint. There we are getting the gap where it is welded in the fillet weld progress. So, here also we can do the fillet weld process here, here, here and here. So, if it is a double T, we can name it as a cruciform weld. So, here again at last we have a butt weld. So, where we are doing here welding process, I am doing here. And I want to build the weld in between and I have to do how. The here we have to make the edge preparation have to be done. And then we have to weld in this concerns. So, this is the butt welding process. So, joints are 6 I have divided, edge joint, open and close corner joint, lap joint, T joint, cruciform joint and butt joint. So, now we have to see about the welding configurations also. So, this is what, uh, what I have told you there. Number 1 the butt joint, it is like this, we have to weld in this format, we have to weld in this format. The two pieces are there, this is number 1 piece number 2 are kept in the butt format and it is welded and it is a T joint, joint is T and if the weld is done is a fillet weld, okay, that means and here also lap joint, lap is they have kept one over the other, what we have said here the same, the corner one, open corner, okay, so here it is open corner, see this side, it is open, if you are welding this side, it will be a closed corner, so here I get the edge joint, so our previous image we have taken, 
such things, see, two pieces are joined in the edge of the same pattern is available, like this, like this available, this two pieces comes down, see, the two pieces comes down, here we are doing the weld at the top, both edges are connected, so this is the five types of joint configurations, but T, lamp, corner and edge, maybe two more, now, Edge preparation for weld joints. How to edge preparation are done? I told you, I told you this point so we have to do edge preparation for welding. So how we can do just like that I have drawn, just like that I have drawn in this format. So initially we should understand why this edge preparation is done. Edge preparation is done for we are going to fill the gap. I told you it is a positive welding process. So we want to fill the gap. How we can fill, if I want to fill the gap, you see, there are two wood pieces are there. I have taken two wood pieces and the filler material, maybe a 1 mm or 2 mm will be there. Filler material which is to be melted and the deposit, this is a positive process. We are adding the material in the gap. So, I want to add the material here. I want to add the material in this format here. I am welding. So, this electrode to be melted, this electrode to be melted and it is to be deposited here. But if it is uh, joined together in the same zone, if it is no gap is there, if there is no gap is there, how this 2mm or 3mm electrode will go now to the 0th mm and weld. It will weld in the top regions, it will weld in the top region. This is the 10th mm that is considered, this is the thickness. All the material is 10 mm. So at the top it melted and deposited. That is okay. But how the specimen, the zero mm will be welded? Therefore, we cannot weld. Therefore, we need edge preparation, small opening where the filler material goes down to the zeroth point and it start welding. Now I have taken, let us consider I have taken a two specimens with edge preparation. So I have taken in this format. Okay, so I have taken in this format. So what happens now? The electrode comes down to the zeroth point and melts here. Jointed. It melted and deposited. Again. So here it is melted, deposited. Here it is melted, deposited. Here it is melted, deposited. So you can able to join from the zeroth point to the high level. So it is okay. But in this condition, the zeroth point is not welded. Maybe due to penetration, liquid, liquid, automatic liquid flow, we can able to melt up to this point. Maybe a small gap is filled. This only small at the front zones. In the meanwhile, going downwards, it's solidified. So it cannot reach the zeroth point. So for reaching the zeroth point for welding, we are making some edge preparations on the two specimens. In which format we can do? The edge preparation or edge shaping may be applied to each piece in the same way or combination of joint preparation. So, two can be some shape we are going to create. So, this is what a square edge. Where it will be useful? The square edge will be useful in a thin sheet. This will be in the thin sheet. In less than 1 mm or less than 2 mm. It can able to, to make 2 mm, you know, very thin. There we can able to, without edge preparation, we can able to go for welding because two sheets join, no need of filler also, autogenous welding we can do. No filler, we name it as autogenous. So that also it is possible there. So what are other type of available? A small chamfer edge preparation, a small, small chamfer we have to, in such a way, the middle can do. And then the bevel, this, this uh, slashing of workpiece, see, the workpiece is here. And I have cut out this region, we name it as a bevel edge. Right. Now the thickness is large. I have for 10 mm thickness, for thin 1 or 2 mm we are not doing edge preparation. Little bit we are doing. 10 mm we are doing bevel. If it is a 20 mm, think over how much large it is. 10 to 2 centimeters. So the, the thickness, the depth of penetration will not be there. They can be able to go for double bevels. What is a double bevel? See. The material to be like this. I have slashed on two sides. This thickness is a 20. 
This thickness is 20 mm. So here above and below I have lightly slashed the dough. One, one side I am welding, replacing the specimen, other side I am can able to weld. So again, other types in the same way in the for small thickness, bevel edge, and also can be a J also. So it looks like J, therefore it is called as J group. It looks like J. Similarly, double J also they are doing double J. This side and this side. Double J they are doing. So increasing the thickness, we are going here. This side less thickness, this side large thickness. So such a way, possibility of edge preparation are possible to fill the electrode in the up to the zero theme. That is what I understand. So most common edge preparations are the square edge, this one, bevel edge, this one, right? double bevel, chamfer, J group, double J group. So likewise, chances are there to create. Right. So I have the same thing I have done here. The butt joint is formed when the piece to be welded are laid side by side. So now I, what I have drawn here, this, on, this configuration, this configuration I have given in the next slide. Right. This is one of the most widely used types. This is one of the most widely used types. So see here, thin sheets, square, two pieces, number one and number two are kept. Similarly, bevel. I can even take one side this, chunks are very far, thin sheets, any one side, even though you can go inside, but even though you can here, you can weld. Okay, enough for thin sheets. Increasing thickness, we have to go like this. Two sides, single bevel, double bevel. Look over how it is they have made. One side they have taken, and this, don't consider, this is double bevel. Double bevel, they have attached it to the one more work piece, they have not done, but you can able to weld. This is this heat input and zero thermo we are able to reach, but thickness increases, therefore we are doing this. So here, other chances, V grew. Likewise, we can able to weld. Double V increasing the thickness. So here first I am welding here this far side and reversing and then again I am doing here. Why not? The same V can be taken for the large thickness distortion arises because the heat input involved I already told you. Heat makes distortion. We have to put a gypsum fixers there to hold. Then stress created. Then early. It's continuous process, I told you. So to avoid those things, for half, first one half, for out of 20 mm thickness, first half I'm doing. And then waiting for a while. It cool down. Then I'm rotating. And again I'm building. So this distortion can be avoided. This annealing, normalizing treatment, heat treatment can be avoided. Properties can be maintained. So other formats. So J groove we can do similarly, double J we can do, U groove we can do, so look over, it looks like U, therefore the name is, it looks like J, it looks like J, therefore the naming like that, so double U, upward on U they have created, downward for U they have created, this is all for high thicknesses, this is all for low thicknesses, so accordingly we can able to minimize the work also, preparation of edge preparation, time, work, that also we can minimize. In, in, we have to select for thin, there is no need to go for the double bevels, double V, no need because at a single side when we are welding itself, no distortion will come. If the distortion, wherever it comes, there we go for double, there we go for Uta and welding to avoid distortions. If not coming, why we want necessarily for small thickness, why we go for double V, no need. Okay. So that is how. The bevel grooves and V grooves are easy to prepare and are used more than this J and U. So V and this is mostly used. This V, it means this one. This V and double V are mostly used everywhere here. So instead of all configurations, less thickness, more thickness, the configuration over. Why we want to um, complexity create creating of the J? Somehow it is complex in creating of chamfering. It is this is easy than this. Okay, so we are preparing, preferring that ones. A T joint is formed when one piece of the metal to be welded in place of vertical, in place of vertical on the other piece. So I, I can able to keep it here like this. One, one flange is there, and I want to keep one more here. Where where I can weld here? There I, I have not prepared a V joint. Edge preparation not done because the weld can be done in this corner. Two corners I can able to do. 
So I'm making this the zones stronger. So similarly, inverter, it is ultra, so nothing there. Okay, so I can able to do like this. So that is what they have given. If you are doing without doing the edge preparation at the corners, we are naming this as a fillet weld. If the edge preparation nut is done and welded, we name this a butt welds. So here it, we are naming this as a fillet weld. Please remember this word fillet. We are filling this with the gap. The T joints or vertical piece can be also be preferred using the bevel or J. In case if we need, we can also prefer these preparations can also be done. How I am doing here? You see, this instead of doing fillet, I can able to do here this joint I can able to connect VT and butt, butt preparation I am doing. So this is one, this one. The joint preparation is bevel I have taken, one edge preparation is been done. Joint preparation is separate, weld is separate. Okay. So first joint preparation is butt bevel, sorry, bevel preparation is done. And then the joint configuration is butt as of now. But after that T I can able to do here. So it is a compound weld, they, they, we are naming this is a compound weld. Okay, see here also we can weld, here also we can weld. Here, okay, here. So such cases we can able to do those things in the T joint. So configuration is T joint, bevel edge preparation done, then welding that in the gap to make it stronger. Right. The corner joint is formed by placing one piece to be welded on the other. So I, I coming here, we have talked about earlier, we talked about T. Earlier we talked about the butt joints, okay, see likewise, and I am coming to the corner joint now. So this corner, how we can weld, so here I can weld, weld, this region I can able to weld, so this region I can able to weld, so half open corner, half open corner, full, this, this is moved entirely, see, this is moved entirely, this, the corner is this point, so I can able to weld here, so here, bevel corner inside, so here I can able to weld. Here I can able to weld. Similarly here also. So V grew corner, J grew corner. So this uh, edge preparation uh, done to add positive filler metal in between those uh, two members to make it stronger. So such things we can able to do here. See. So you here I have taken you both side you and I can able to weld. It may be a flush, it may be half or fully open. This is a flush, half open, fully open. So such configurations are there to make the corner joint welds. In the corner joint, I am giving the edge preparation and I am doing the weld. We have to add, then only it becomes strong, otherwise it won't. For proper penetration and strength, for proper penetration, because it is to be up to zero thumb, we should go. And strength, the edge preparation may be applied to one, or both, maybe for one job I am doing, or maybe for the two jobs I am doing. Anyway, we can able to improve our full penetration we need, that is agenda here. Next one. So, we have, we come across the butt joints, T joints, corner joints, now we are going to the edge joints, to both, one or the other. So, an edge joint is formed when the two edges are pieces to be welded come together. So this I am taking 1 and 2. Where I will be welding now? I want to weld here, this, this region. If it is thin, very less thickness, no need of making edge preparation as it is when it is heated, autogenous will be done. Autogenous weld can be done here. Right. So here, bevel I have taken, thickness increased. So I can able to weld here. You see, V, both sides. So I can able to weld in this format. So similarly here also, I can weld. See here, U, U has been taken here. So I want to weld. What is the position? Horizontal position, vertical positions. So if I am doing like this, it is a horizontal. If I am doing like this, it is vertical. Doing like this, overhead. Like doing like this, it is a flat, inclined. Okay, so that uh, also to be applicable there. 
many classifications we are seeing join weld positions edge preparations you should keep remember so now we came to the different shapes and name of the weld as of now we have seen about the types of joint it may be a butt joint it may be a t joint it may be edge joint it may be a corner joint such joint configuration we have seen now we are going to talk about the weld configurations joint we have kept and also the weld to be done right. see this is butt joint butt weld i have kept the components here in the butt format and have done the butt welding process so how we have done the butt welding here i have done the butt welding butt joint butt welding here i have what i have done here i have kept the t joint configurations and i have done the fillet weld this corners i have done fillet weld there joint is t but there are two welds are there one is butt and one is a fillet therefore we call it as a compound weld I, I will tell you see here this is compound is nothing but a two process combined so as of now here the joint configuration we have, we have taken in this format see edge preparation is been done and it is connected now in this edge preparation in this edge preparation I am welding here I am welding here first. What is this joint? This is one specimen. This is one specimen. I am connecting both. It is a butt joint. Now, again over there, above that. Again above that, what I am doing there, I want to weld here, fillet. This region I am filling. This region I am filling. So, it is a fillet weld. So, First I have edge preparation, maybe a bevel, you know we understand, a bevel edge preparation, T joint configurations and butt weld and the fillet weld. So it is named as a compound weld configurations, compound weld, we understand clear. Now here, similarly the spot two are kept together, lap joint. Joint is lab one over the other. Spot welded have you done. Here the plug lab joint and the plug welding at the hole. Plug hole has been made and welding has been done. Here also the lap, lap, but edge. This both edges are done. Here the welding is done at the edges. Edge weld I have doing. So corner or we can do that also. So these are the various types of uh, welds. We have talked about the joints. We are talking about edge preparations, we are talking about the weld. These three combinations makes the complete design of the welding. Maybe we should know compulsively this. Now, I am putting the various combinations now. See, it will be very good. Different shapes and name of the different welds. I am doing some, some, some combinations I am doing here. You see, I have taken butt weld, butt joint. Please carefully listen. We are doing the on the butt joint. This is all I have taken about the but joint configurations. But joint configurations, two to be welded. Here, this two are welded. One and two are welded. Here, one and two are welded. Here, one and two are welded. This is not a T. Please don't understand as a T. Two are kept together. So, here, I am doing the weld. Where I am doing? But joint, I am doing here. I am doing the weld here. So, but joint. Butt weld process, but joint, eh? butt weld process. Here, two are kept together, and I am doing the fillet weld here. At the corners, I am doing the fillet weld here. Fillet weld that on the butt joint. I think we understand. Right here, same butt joint configuration has been taken, but I want to do compound weld. Where it is compound weld, so I have taken compound weld one as a here, one as here, right? And one more is here. You see, this is but I mean, understand edge preparation has been done, edge preparation has been done, and I am doing the butt weld, butt weld has been completed. Additionally, 
in this corner i am doing the fillet weld i am doing the fillet weld here similarly i am doing the fillet weld at the bottom also you see so but fillet but configuration but join but weld and fillet weld makes a compound weld configurations so somewhat it is interesting so now i have taken entirely for the t joint configurations here really we have taken the but joint there we have done the but fillet and compound here i have taken the t joint similarly we are doing going to do the but fillet and compound you see t joint has been taken t joint has been taken t joint has been there but uh, the fillet weld i am doing where is the fillet at the corners without edge preparation is fillet okay i have done next here but weld t joint joint is t so but here edge preparation has been done and then the gap is filling that is called as a but joint i think you understand here this here it is edge preparation and the weld now again here we come to compound weld also what i have done here here edge preparation is done edge preparation is done and then once i have done the but welding process and later on the other side i am doing on other side i am doing the fillet welding process fillet welding process so it is a compound weld configurations so similarly for the fillet weld i have for the fillet weld what i am doing here the fillet lap joint lap joint lap joint is there but i am doing the fillet weld here is the spot weld here also spot plus fillet so what what it become it is become the compound weld two process are together so this is the some other ideas of compound weld in the closed corners closed corners here the but here the fillet here the but and the fillet so here open corners so fillet here also the fillet i have opened but they have dead and then both conditions we have did so similarly these things can be happen at the summary of this class in this class in the welding we have seen about the types of joint and types of weld right and we have combined these configurations weld edge preparations so the remaining part of the subjects we'll see you in the next session thank you